Psalms chapter 37, verse 37. It says, Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. That I like to say, call on him, lie, how about Shimmy Al Shai? Also, with the bonus of LGG and Mass, honest at Akiyam. Peace and bless you, brothers and sisters that listen, no full elect. You know, Shar Yam Kapar, you know, brothers and sisters kept the Day of Atonement. And, um, we know who we're supposed to mark, as the scripture says. I read again Psalms 37, verse 37. It says, Mark the perfect man. Who was the perfect man? Who was the most righteous man to ever walk the planet Earth? Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. Okay, that's who we need to look towards. Yahweh Shai. I read again. It says, Mark the perfect man. And behold the upright. For the end of that man is peace, man. Peace, man. Okay, because um, as we see right now, you know, this world is just thrown into darkness, man. Okay, so we got to reflect on the light, a.k.a. Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. You know, we just seen the last video, uh, Babylon, you know, scripture calls this place the land of the shadow of death, man. It's nothing but darkness here, man. All right, and Jake has surpassed the deeds of the wicked, man. Okay. You even got a lot of these goods. Uh, we have to do a video on that. The house of Saul. These dudes waxing worse and worse, man. These guys are just out of control, man. Dudes getting Vanessa live on Facebook. Wow, man, that money. See? So if you, you follow those, man, you're going to be destroyed, man. Okay? But we have to always look towards you, how shy, especially, you know, the whole day of atonement. You know, being purged from our sins. Um, that we committed throughout the year you know unknown and unknown sins like King David said um, uh, keep me from presumptuous sins let them not have dominion over me okay because the flesh like the scripture says about the, the heart is desperately wicked your minds man and the scripture even says that the thought of foolishness is sin man. all right but who, who's gonna um save us from that like the Apostle Paul said, let me get Romans the seventh chapter. So it's the importance of Yahweh Shai, because you have some other camps, Sakari, who say that you don't gotta worship the Mashiach. But let me get this. So Romans chapter seven, verse twenty-three. He said, But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind. Okay? And bringing me into captivity the law of sin which is in my members. The body is weak, the flesh. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I th and that's the whole point of this lesson. I thank the Most High, Yahweh, do Yahweh Mashi, do Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord, okay, our Master. So then, with the mind, I myself serve the law of the Most High, but with the flesh, the law of sin. So we're thanking the Most High for giving us Yahweh Shai, because through Yahweh Shai, we're going to receive the victory, man. Right, like I was saying about the, the priesthood, as we know in Hebrews, the ninth chapter, <clears throat> you have to give a sacrifice every single year, okay, for the children of Israel and himself, the high priest, after the order of Aaron. But Yahweh Shai did it once and for all, and he was the perfect sacrifice without blemish, the sacrificial lamb. Now, let me get to Isaiah, the ninth chapter, right. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 So it's all about exalting the sun, man Okay That scripture says Isaiah 9 and 6 For unto us a child is born Unto us a son is given And the government shall be upon his shoulder Whoa, Where you Old Testament Hebrews at, man? This is the Old Testament, man Who is this talking about, man? And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor The Mighty Power the everlasting father or the everlasting chief or rule of peace is going to say that the prince of peace okay Yahweh Shai man and the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David see mark the perfect man all right we're going to get that peace or everlasting joy the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The Zilli Yahabashim Shah of hosts will perform this, man. 
Okay, so yeah, Yahweh Shai, which is sound cliche to non-believers, all right? But Yahweh Shai is the only peace, man, okay? And through this truth, he has given us, what, a sound of mind, okay? We're not going to fall, you know, out of one rot to Zion to the wiles of the devil, all right? You got a lot of Israelites, what, bowing to the image of the beast, man, trusting in the science, trusting in his Vanessa, man. You guys, you lost your confidence. And you're not looking towards you, Howard Shai, man. Okay? Because what would the Mashiach do? All right? Let me get First Peter chapter 1, verse 22. <clears throat> Dudes is getting weak, man. And, I, and that's not a really a scary or frightening thing. It's just, it's just surprising. You know, all that banging on the street and, you know, screaming and having Edomites bowing down and, you know, all of that, man. And when it comes down to the nitty gritty, you know, show and prove that you don't believe in a Mashiach, man. You don't believe in Yahweh Shai, man. You're not a part of the body. All right? Scripture says, First Peter chapter 2, verse 21, For even, for even hereunto were he called because the Mashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that we should follow his steps, man. That's the point, man. That's the scripture I wanted to get out, man. Okay? You guys ain't following in the steps of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, Yahweh Shai suffered for us. All right, he got beaten beyond recognition, man. All right, so that the nation could get redeemed back to the Most High. I'm going to get that revelation of the fifth chapter. All right, one probably we one of the last scriptures I pulled. All right, but the point I want to get out, the scripture says what? He left us an example. Okay. And Yahweh Shai would never bow to the beast, man. He would never bow to the Roman Empire, ever. Okay? He was teaching Jake to what? To have faith, man. To accept him. Okay? And that also have ultimate faith in your father, man. Seen the video, the guy talking about he took, you know, Vanessa because he got to get the bag, man. From the ICPK, man. First of all, the Most High going to take care of his, man. Didn't Yahweh Shai said... The father know that you have need of all these things. So the most I don't know we got to eat and drink, man. You see, but you know you. I guess you guys kept the atonement as well. I'm not I'm not too sure. You know what's going on, man. But your God is your belly, man. You see. Anyway, it says um. Uh, in fact, let me get Hebrews the first chapter. All right, so call him La Yahweh Shemel Shah. All right, all oh, glory to Yahweh for sending Yahweh Shah, man. Hebrews, the first chapter. All right, it says, The Most High at sundry times in divers manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. We notice, all right, the Isaiah, the Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, the Moses, all right, the Samuels spoke to Israel by the prophets, aka his mouthpiece. Having these last days spoken to us by his son, Yahweh Shai. That's why the, that was the whole point of the great trans um, figuration. We have Moses on one side, who represents the law, and Elijah represents the prophets, man. And he said, This is my beloved son. The Mosai said, This here he him. This is the guy. All right? So he says, Having these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom we have appointed heir of all things. By whom also he made the worlds, the things invisible and the things visible, man, who being the brightness of his glory and express image of his person. Okay, so not only do he look like the Most High, he was what the express image of his person. All right, he was he was a perfect example. He was an ambassador to the Most High. He represented the Most High, man. Right, and he was what he was perfect. See. And upholding all things by the word of his power, when he, he had by himself purged our sins. And that's the point I'm to get out to for the whole day of atonement. All right. Yahweh Shai purged our sins. You see, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. And that's what we are brought into this thing. All right. To become more and more like our big brother, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That's the whole point. man. All right. And it's up to the Most High. Like Yahweh Shai said, he said, No man could come to me unless the Father himself draw him unto me, man. 
the most high has to draw you towards his son, man. All right? His first begotten. Because we're all sons of the power. But the first begotten of the most high. All right? You see? <laughs> so, man, we got to mark the perfect man, man. We really got to look towards Yahweh Shai in these last days, man. Because it's getting real dark out here, man. It's getting real dark out here. In the left hand is a lot of activity that's going on in the left hand man a lot of witchcraft and a lot of enchantments is being pushed out through his media through his celebrities man okay high enchantments man and now he's about to lose his mind and just come down with what with great wrath and force okay but if we look towards the holy one of israel yahweh shai mashiach we gonna make it through because he made it through you see, he's he didn't we're not going through nothing that he didn't already experience. Alright? He went through his darkest hour, man. And he had to go through those trials by himself. See, but he did the will of the most high until the latter end. So let me get this Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Hebrews 12, verse 1, man. It says. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so a great, oh man, we read that again. It says Hebrews 12 and 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so a great cloud of witnesses, man. which are who? The saints, man. All right. We read on it says, um, let us lay aside every weight, all right, our burdens, all right, because we all go through things. And the sin which do easily beset us, man. Okay, like the Apostle Paul said, the war in my mind, there's a war between my mind and my flesh. My spirit wants to do the right thing, but my flesh is always contrary. And that's the biggest fight. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. All right? This is a marathon. Okay, that's what you have to endure. Looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith that's the point i want to get out man yahweh shai is the author and the finisher of our faith that's how we're gonna make it across the finish line okay by believing on him and following his example who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross endured the trials man okay despising the shame and set set down at the right hand of the throne of the most high man so Yahweh Shai was what? He was the author and the finisher of our faith. Okay. Like I said earlier, the Most High brought us into this thing to become more and more like his chief son. Man. This is his first begotten, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Man. All right. So we got to exalt the son, man. Like Yahweh Shai said, all men must honor the son, even as they honor the father. Because it was through Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, him purging our sins. All right. He also opened the veils. All right. Matter of fact, let me get that Revelation of fifth chapter. He opened the seals. Salakia. Let me get that Revelation of five. Revelation chapter five, verse four. And I wept much because no man. Okay. <laughs> Not Tazadakia, who, who passed away. All right. Discomforter. Because no man was found worthy to open the book or to read the read the book, neither to look thereupon. And one of the elders, the angels, said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. What's that book? The book is the scriptures, man. They understand it. Okay, because we know that it was sealed during the time of Daniel. Okay, but Yahweh Shai unsealed it. Okay? Started with the apostles back then all the way till now. All right. And we know the three days and a half, the spirit of life entered back into us, which is what the Rakakwa Dash. Let's read on. And I beheld lo in the midst of the throne and the four beasts and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain. So he appeared in the heavens with that same body. And we're going to see that body in the kingdom. I believe that's Zechariah 12 chapter. Are we going to weep? All right. Having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of the Most High, sent forth into all the earth. 
And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat thereupon, sat upon the throne. When he had taken the book, the four beasts and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. So these are these are the heavenly hosts worshiping Yahweh Shai, man. But men on earth saying, nah, you're not supposed to do that. All right. Having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. All right, that great cloud of witnesses. It says, and they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and has redeemed us to the Most High by the blood of out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, because the Israelites are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, and has made us unto our power kings and priests, and we shall reign on earth. Call him Lai Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Let's read a little bit more. And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders. Okay. And the number of them ten thousands, ten thousands and thousands of thousands. So an innumerable amount of angels. Right. So this was a hell of a sight that St. John of Revelation saw in Revelation, the third chapter. He saw Yahweh Shai getting his glory, man. See, and the beautiful thing right now is only the elect on earth is giving Yahweh Shai his glory man but he about to get his glory real soon and the scripture says every knee is going to bow and confess that he is lord man but right now only the elect is giving him that praise and esteem all right saying with a loud voice worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing man okay so call him la yahu bashimel shah for that man Call him La Yahweh Shemel Shah for the sacrificial lamb. Like John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God, which cometh to take away sin from the world, Israel. So we got to mark the perfect man. We got to follow Yahweh Shai, man. And he's going to lead us on the other side. Like he told his disciples, to close it out this precept, John the 21st chapter. So Yahweh Shai told Peter, This spake he, John 21, 19. Signifying by what death he should glorify the Most High. And when he had spoken this, he said unto him, Follow me. Okay. Then Peter turning about, seeing the disciple whom Yahweh Shai loved, which is John, with the same author of the book, he tells you that at the end of the verse, end of the chapter. Yahweh Shai loved following, which also leaned on his breast or his chest at supper and said, Lord, which is he that betrayed thee? Peter, seeing him, said to Yahweh Shai, Lord, and what shall this man do? Yahweh Shai said unto him, If I will that he tarry, will I come? What is that to thee? Why is that important? Follow thou me. And that's what Yahweh Shai told his head disciple. And that's for all of us to do, man. Follow Yahweh Shai, man. The perfect man, man. Okay? And we're going to get that peace, a.k.a. the kingdom. So that must say, call on him, La Yahweh Bashem Shai. Man, hopefully we can get this kingdom soon, man. Now the one Ratzazah, man. All right, Abad Baba. That must say, Shalom.